Hello, in this video, let's discuss the third question of today's contest. You are given two binary strings S and T, both of length n, and three positive integers flip cost, swap cost, and cross cost. You are allowed to apply the following operation any number of times on S and T. The first thing, the first operation is choose any index and flip the S of i or T of i from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0. The cost is flip cost. And choose two distinct indices i and j and swap si and sj or ti and tj. The cost is swap cost. Or choose an index i, swap si with ti. The cost is cross cost. Return the minimum answer denoting the total cost needed to make the strings s and t equal. The constraints are n is up to the length is up to 1 if i. All the costs are up to 1 in a. S and t consist of only characters 0 and 1. So given our two strings, we have three kinds of operations. The first thing is take any character of any string and flip from 0 to 1. And the cost is flip cost. And the second operation is take any two indices in either S or T and swap those both. And the cost is swap. And then the next operation is choose any index and swap both characters of this both. This or this. And the cost is cross cost. In this way, we have to make the strings equal. So firstly, we have three different kinds of operations. So let, let's try to compare the operations to find which is better or which is worse or something like that. Let's try to compare those three. For example, firstly, is there any way of checking 0, 0 or 1, 1? No, right? Because we will not do operations involving this. Because using at least flips, we can try to get the answer. Because if we flip all the, like if we flip all the characters in the first string, which are not equal to second, we can get the answer for sure. So we can get answer by using flips at least. So why we will unnecessarily use the equal indices and then try to remove this again. For example, let's say we have 0, 0, 1, 1. Let's try to swap this and this. And why we will swap these both? We will swap only if they are unequal. So initially they are unequal and we are swapping. And then we will get 0, 0 here. And maybe the index is sorted. But here again it is different, so we have to do another cost here. So simply, we can do we can find the answer instead of doing like using only flips at least. So no need to take indices which are equal because they are already equal. So don't try to use extra operations to make this remove and then add again. So we will concentrate only on different indices. So simply remove 0, 1 and 1, 1. So let's say we have 0, 1 and 1, 0. Let's try to compare the first both. So from these both, we can try to flip this 0 to 1 and we can try to flip this 1 to 0, right? So this will make both strings equal. And how many flips are required? They are simply 2. We have 2 unequal, so we have done 2 flips. And if we clearly observe, we can try to make one swap also because the swap cost is in a single string. We can take 2 in this and then swap. So in a single swap operation also, these both can be flipped. This one can come here and this 0 can come here. And even then the strings are both same. So from this we can see that one swap operation is equal to two flips. So one swap is simply flipping this and flipping this. So whenever we get chance to swap, we will try to use these both minimally. Minimum of two flips and one swap because these both are indirectly equal, right? So 0 and 1 0 is simply equal to flipping this 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 and or flipping uh, swapping 0 and 1. So these both are indirectly equal to flips and one swap. And now let's come to cross operation. So it feels like useless because let's say we have a string and in ignore the equal characters and we have different ones. So we will do operation only if the if the indices are not equal, if the values are not equal. For example, let's say we have 0, 1, 1, 0 and let's say we have 0, 0 also. So if these both are equal, why will unnecessarily waste cross cost? We will not do it. So forget about equal. And even in the non-equal one, if let's say we have 0, 1, and if we try to flip, if we try to uh, cross cost, the new string is 1, 0. So even like we are doing the operation for a diff different index. And why like after cross cost also we will get the different one. For example, if initially it is A and B and these are unequal because we will do operation only if it is unequal. And if we are doing cross cost, we will get B again. And what is the use? Because initially it is different. Finally, also it is different. So this is not useful, right? Because till now. For, fl for flip operation or swap operation, we are able to get an answer. But here, if we do cross, we are unable to get answer. If it is different initially, 
after doing the operation also it is different so waste of this no need to use for now so let's try to think how to find the answer for now let's try to forget about drop cost and then think only about flip and swap so now the target is only about 01 and 10 because only these are unequal so we will do operations only with this so firstly count the pairs like that so we will traverse this string and then we will find the number of indices with s i is equal to 0 and t i is equal to 1 or s is equal to 1 and t is equal to 0 so a is the number of operation a is the number of indices of type 01 and b is of 10 and our main goal is to make these all 0011 Like all these equal, zero zero or one one. So let's take three a and four b. So we have three indices where is zero one and four indices with one zero. So which flips we'll do? So our main goal is to finally make all these equal, either one 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 or zero 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 zero, and the same with these four also. And directly these these all should be equal. So how can we do? So firstly, let's come to flips. So what all flips we can do? We can flip every index of this, right? We can flip every index. This or this, either this or this. So firstly, if we use only flips, then what is the cost? It is simply the flip cost into a plus b, because we have a kind of zero one and b kind of one zero. So total number of mismatches are a plus b. So for every mismatch, it either of the string we will try to flip. So the cost is f into a plus b. And now we can try to use swaps also here. And how many swaps we can do? Let's say we have zero 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 and one one one, and these seven are unequal. So how many swaps we can do? So firstly, when we will use flip, sorry, when we will use swap, we will use swap only if the cost of swap is less than two into flip, because we already discussed. If the swap is more than two flip, then why anyone will do swap? We will do only two into flip. So we will use swap only if it is less than two flip. So this uh, this is absolutely less than two flip. So we have to, we have to maximize as many swaps as possible. Else, what is the use of taking this? Because we are taking this if it is less than the two into flip. So as we are taking this as this is optimal, we will try to swap as many as possible. And how many maximum as many as possible we can do? We can do minimum as many as possible. For example, we have three and four, right? So we can swap all these three with all these three in three swaps. So why three? Because three is the minimum of both. For example, we have hundred yes and two bs, hundred yes two bs. We can swap only two. For the rest of ninety, we must use flips. So we can use cross only for the minimum. For example, let's say we have thirty and ten. For uh, swapping, we want both, right? So we will take the minimum. So we will swap ten and ten of both, and then for remaining twenty, we will reduce flips because we can't make swaps within the same a or b. So minimum of a or b swaps are needed and lift the flips. So what is the cost now? They are simply swap into minimum of a and b because these many number of swaps we are doing. By this, we are able to reduce both a and b by minimum, and then for the rest, max of a and b minus min of a and b into flip, because for the rest we are using flips. For example, let's say we have ten and twenty, ten a and twenty b. So we are trying to use ten swaps, and after ten swaps, we will be left with only ten b, because ten a will already will be already equal. Because you are swapping right, so indirectly they are equal, and finally only ten b are left. For ten b, we can reduce ten flips, which is ten into f. So this is the cost for now. So uh, it is done, right? Is this the answer? No. Let's now let's try to check what cross cost is doing exactly. Let's say we have three a's and two b's, and now there are three a two b's, right? Let's try to do cross cost. Two kinds of cross cost. The first one on index with zero one, and other on cost one zero. So if we try to do cross operation on the first index, zeroth index. So in the first index, what we'll get? We'll get one zero because we are we are the um, we are flipping s of i and t of i. So it will become one zero. Now if we clearly observe, one a reduced and one b increased, right? Because initially it is one zero, so this contributed to a initially, but After swapping, after crossing, we got one zero. It means that we got we got less one a, and we got more than one, more one for b. So one zero one removed and one zero added. So this simply a minus one b plus one. And now let's do operation on four index. So now what we'll get? All these are same. And now we are trying to swap zero to one. 
So from this, we'll get one more a and one more b reduced. So if we clearly observe what we are doing, so by one cross or by one cross operation, we are changing a b values. It can change to a plus one, b minus b minus one, or a plus hundred, b minus hundred, or anything, or a minus twenty, b minus twenty. So this is the power of cross operation. So by cross, we are able to change a and b. But what is the use? There is use, right? Because here the answers are dependent on a plus b. Maybe here a plus b is fixed, but either here it is dependent on minimum and maximum, right? So cross cost is not useless. It is useful. Why it is useful? Because it is able to change the pair a b to some other a b, and indirectly these are if these are finding the answer. Indirectly a and b are finding the answer. Swap into minimum place and so on. So we are using cross to change a and b integer values, and then once we get a b, then we'll try to use the before one to get the minimum answer, minimum of this both. So we'll try to use cross to change the values of a and b. And then after fixing values of a and b, then we will try to find the answer using before operation. Costs are related to a and b. Cross are not directly related to answer, like they are not directly related to answer, but indirectly they are trying to change a and b values. It is trying to change a and b to a plus b, a plus two, or b minus something like that. So it is changing the values, and then this will affect the answer. So by this we can get the answer correctly by choosing all the possible configurations. So firstly, let count how many one zeros and zero ones. So if it is one zero, then increment a. If it is zero one, then increment b. Initialize the answer with maximum, and then how many cross cost operations we can do? Let's say we have one one zero zero zero, two a's and three b's. How many cross we can do? We can do all the five, right? We can do all the five. So simply, and we can do zero also. We can not do cross cost, or we can do a plus b number of cross costs. Either of this is fine. So use a loop from zero to a plus b, and then firstly find the answer for these many number of cross cost. So temporary cost for cross cost is simply the number of cross cost into the one cross cost cost x into c r, and then find the new number of a and b's. So we can do operation on a or we can do operation on b. So simply we can find two answers here. The first thing is reduce a and increment b, and the other thing is increase a and reduce b. So these both are possible. So let's try to find the answer for both. So, for example, let's say we have two a's and we have three b's, and let's say we are trying to do four operations. So if we are trying to do four operations, what will a become? A will be minus two, and b will become seven. This is wrong, right? Because we can only do past two operations. So before finding the answer, check if both the new a and b are past two. Only then it makes sense. So check if both are possible, and then find the answer. And what is this function doing? The function is simply doing. Fun. The function is simply doing. If a is more than b, then swap a and b. By by this, what we are doing, we are trying to reduce a and increment b. So after this, b will be the maximum of both, and a is minimum of both. And now find the answer for flipping. So for flipping, what is the cost? It is simply a plus b. And now for swap, what is the operation? Like for swap, we can compare both. We discussed right. So two flips is equal to one swap. So the same is simply minimum of these both. And now, temp is the cost for cross cost. We are simply adding to this, and then minimum of these both. Minimum of both, minimum of all. If you are doing only flips, and then we are trying to, we are trying to swap. So a is minimum, right? So we are trying to swap the minimums. So simply same into a. Like the same is the minimum cost for swapping. So swapping minimum cost into the minimum cost plus the flip for remaining. So hope you got this. We discussed already, right? For example, if we have, if we get operation for swap, we directly don't use swap. We will simply use minimum of swap and two into flip because either both are same. So for swapping, we will use the minimum cost. And how many flips we will, how many swaps we will do? We will do the minimum one. So same into a, which will be the swapping cost and then left cost for flipping. So simply we can use the answer of minimum both, and then this is other configuration. Reducing a and b, like reducing a increment b, and here reducing a incrementing b, and here incrementing a reducing b, and find the answer. If you have any doubts, comment below. See you in the next video.